Let's see how we design a transmission level tower. First thing we have is piled foundations on each of the leg. These can be up to 25 meters deep for the larger transmission towers. We then have the aluminium lattice tower. Aluminium is used as it's light and strong and resistant to corrosion. The tower has to be designed to deal with all the loads imposed on it. This includes the environmental factors, snow, ice and wind, and also the weight of the conductors and the tensional loads imposed by the conductors. The structure is grounded to protect from lightning strikes or accidental touching by the live conductor. Let's add some insulators to stop the live conductors touching the grounded steel tower. We normally have two independent circuits, one on each side of the tower. We have red phase conductor, a yellow phase conductor and a blue phase conductor. The first electrical clearance distance is to prevent the live conductor arcing across to the grounded structure. The second electrical clearance distance is to prevent the live conductor arcing across to the other live conductors. The third, larger electrical clearance distance is to prevent the live conductor arcing to objects on the ground. This is why as the conductor voltage increases, the tower gets taller as it needs to position the conductors farther away from the ground.